I'm Tezuka of Nintendo. How do you do? I'm Ebisu of the Goodfield Company. Thanks for having me. When Nintendo reached out to Goodfield, we didn't ask them to make Yoshi's Woolly World as a sequel to Kirby's Epic Yarn. We said we wanted to make a Yoshi game. But we asked them to use the yarn and fabric as materials for creating new gameplay mechanics. To create a new kind of Yoshi game filled with those kinds of elements. For Kirby, we used strands of yarn as the core element and expressed things through their movement. This time, now that we were working in a three-dimensional world with depth, the challenge was that a single strand wasn't going to be visually impressive. So how do you play with a pile of yarn or some cloth? We thought about those things pretty hard. They get unraveled and knitted up and do a lot of things like that. Both Mario and Yoshi games are 2D action platformer games. The big difference is that Mario games are about performing challenging tasks within a given time limit. But with Yoshi games, they don't have any time limits. So you're able to freely explore the vast game world. You can make new discoveries. It's turning out to be an action game where you can have fun in a wide variety of ways. When you usually make an action game, things like how far you can jump are set at a certain distance. So you would build the terrain with that in mind. But in the case of Yoshi, he's so almighty. If he tries, he can fly as far as he wants. His tongue is the most powerful weapon. Well, it may be weird calling it a weapon. So as we were thinking about how we should build the game, Tezuka-san told us that it's centered around exploration. We took it as Yoshi's abilities are there to be utilized for exploration. From there, we were able to progress with the game's development smoothly. By using yarn, there are new ways to explore. There are a lot of transformations in the game because Yoshi himself is made of yarn. So this time, we put in two-player mode. Two Yoshis appear, and that actually plays really well. Two people can play to help each other out. So in tough situations, if there are two players, they can both overcome it. Yoshi can eat up and spit out the other Yoshi wherever he likes. This is really important in co-op and can be used in a way to attack the other player. Really, a wide range of gameplay is possible. We've made prototypes of different ways to express the yarn fabric for Yoshi, and we felt that the stuffed yarn Yoshi was particularly attractive. There was quite a phase of trial and error until we decided to go with the current form. Yeah, this time it's about a textured look. And we also wanted to give the world a handmade feel. But we then asked, what makes things look handmade? We tried making things of our own, hoping that it would help in reflecting the handmade feel to the game. There is certainly a key phrase that I have. It's amazing Yoshi. I always want to put in the element of surprise. And I want to make it a game that brings a smile to your face just by owning it. <laughs>